Ready, guys? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah the only title we don't have is the Champions League, guys, but nobody's going to give us, eh? From above, they don't come to give you the Champions League, eh? If you want, you have to take it. Can you put some on oil, eh? Good job he's not got the talking power. He tips it all out every time. Duck, we got a new physio. Let's go. This is the challenge. This is nice. Prove ourselves again. Stop trying to make me. I always go and get my coffee and Riyadh's coffee. Next one, next one, and again. It's bigger than just the game. It's, you know, the fans, everything that comes with it. And Manchester City are the champions again. on the availability of goalkeeper Edison and striker Gabriel Jesus. The pair played for Brazil last Friday. They flew straight to Belgium after the game due to the quarantine restrictions in the UK. Is there any chance of Edison and Gabriel featuring against Burnley? Mm -mm. They play in Brazil yesterday. They cannot fly back. Out come the champions who know that they have a title tussle on their hands this season. And he's looking for Foden, and Foden goes for goal, and Bernardo Silva gobbles up the chance. An early goal that sets the afternoon up nicely for Manchester City. Mares. De Bruyne, Peters in the way, Westwood as well, De Bruyne takes over and Manchester City finally take charge, it is job done, Manchester City beat Burnley. Aquí el jefe de, del, del rendimiento eh, es Pep, el jefe de la preparación física es Pep, el jefe de, es el entrenador, que al final es el que aglutina toda la responsabilidad. Nosotros somos herramienta que él tiene para ayudarle. I think what is key is that he's very demanding on himself first. And when you are very demanding on yourself, uh, you transfer this, it shows. El contenido tiene siempre la parcela física, técnica o técnico-táctica o Pep necesita un tiempo para la parte de preparación del partido táctico exclusivo para él. Cuando el entrenador tiene muy buenos jugadores lo tiene más fácil. Cuando el entrenador además se llama Pep Guardiola y tiene buenos jugadores pelea donde la exigencia que tenemos, pelea los títulos y hasta ahí, de eso se trata. Eh, se trata de ganar. He prepares so much the games, he has so much passion for the game, to be with him or working with him or playing for him you should be up to these standards. Yes, go, yes. Y tengo, creo que tengo datos eh, contrastables de cómo evoluciona un jugador desde el inicio que está con Pep hasta cuando ya ha hecho una o dos temporadas con Pep. Uh, esto quiere decir que, 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 que el trabajo que hace Pep es muy importante. Yes. Hello. Yes. Analizando, corrigiendo, y enseñando y educando al jugador para jugar de una manera determinada. 
Geht gut! Es geht gut! We're going to Bruges, of course, this week for our uh, away game against them in the Champions League. Sean, important game this week for City. Very much, but, you know, City is positive. Uh, Pep Guardiola is positive in, in understanding and knowing the opposition. So he'll have done his, he will be doing his own work to know the game plan, the game approach, to make sure that we, we win it. Top side, what we have seen is the uh, physicality. They know exactly what they have to do. They have an incredible aggressive team and with a lot of quality up front. If uh, might just score goals because it's one reason why they are good. Uh, but we go there. Uh, we have four games left, 12 points to fight uh, to qualify for uh, last 16. And tomorrow we're going to try to to win uh, next three. Be patient with the ball. And aggressive. Come on, boys. 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 Come
I'm still learning it and yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. Eddie, he's going to make that movement here. Put the ball there to the space. You know, we change it game to game. Sometimes I stay higher than normal. Um, but with this game, how they go man to man, um, the aim was just drop in and try and get the ball as much as possible. Maybe, maybe the ball you know is in your control. Okay. Okay. Go, go, go. The opening can go Knowing the ball is there, immediately go. You know, the crunch clear the space. Okay, Eddie, last field. You're on you and you go. Yes, and now go. And now go, bravo. Bravo, Good quality in the final third and really good principles. So they provoke the three players in the side, so they make uh, one more man in that position. They have to bring the fullbacks there, you have to move across the holding midfielder. So uh, they have every movement they do, they have sense. You know, I'm enjoying wherever I play, um, learning new positions, and yeah, we'll see you in the future. Third meets fourth in the Premier League at the Amex Stadium as Brighton and Home Albion play host to Manchester City on the south coast. Obviously against Brighton, I played up front and, you know, I was just trying to learn the role as much as I could in training and doing a bit of extra after training if you like, so, so yeah, it was something new for me. Here, wingers, here. Bernardo, Phil, come, drop, pass, 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 outside, outside. And when we are there, we will arrive. I just wonder what is in the tank of Phil Foden. This guy was extraordinary at the weekend. I didn't think that I would have played false nine this year, so there was extra work me working on up front, so I was thinking maybe I might play there. He's immense, he's a crowd pleaser. City fans love him. Even the, even the Brighton fans were applauding. It was a joy to see, but what's he capable of yet? Oh, great things. He's got super intelligence, game awareness. That's that. The football intelligence is what Pep's talking about in terms of being able to play different positions. He's got a great goal when Gabby shot. Do you remember that one? <laughs> I'll take them all day. <laughs> Even when you saw him recently, he played them in a deeper role where he's playing, you know, he's got that passing ability. Yes. Um, yeah. And Tim receives the ball in tight areas, plays with his back to goal, he's comfortable right on the left, he scores goals. He's, he's a magical player. <laughs> Lesson for today, we have to suffer. It's nice. As much suffer, you have to run up, but you have to take the ball, guys, all the time, always, 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 always. It doesn't matter where. It's the only chance we have. We suffer, we, we, not because we didn't run. <laughs> No, 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 no. And you know you have problems if you don't run, huh? I know you run. You have to take the ball, you have to play, you have to play, you have to play. This team is built for that. One sometimes not possible. Suffer, yes. Not always are going to win for 0 5 0, like Bruges, you play exceptional, like you are played in, you know, in Stanford Beach or Liverpool or whatever. Suffer, you have to suffer. You are so good. You are so good, all of you. Ball, 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 and play, and play, and play. It's the wish. Okay, guys, congratulations, everyone. Guys, you had an incredible victory today. Incredible. All of you. Honestly, congratulations. Listen, we do our job, first and foremost. When we come into these four walls, we're alone, but we're together. And we do what we need to, whether that be in the gym, or doing extras, doing extra physio work or something like that to make sure that we're in the best physical condition to go out and to play come game day. But as soon as you leave these walls, you are a different person. You are even a dad, a family man, you know, a partner, and your roles change in life. Yeah, just trying to get him into football as much as possible and, you know, it's, it's up to him really what, what, what he wants to do with his life, but, um, yeah, I think it's important to bring him in and show him what I do as well behind the scenes. You know, Ronnie, he's my next-door neighbour, we live next door to each other, me and Phil, so 
is some plays with my sons and, and he kind of probably welcomed me a little bit more than he welcomed the other ones just because he sees me around a lot more. Can you see where's Daddy there? Can you see him? Hello. Can you see him? Press the red button. And now press the red button again. Well done, Ronnie. You see Daddy now? You see Daddy? He loves the camera, doesn't he? He loves the camera. <laughs> oh no, are you filming me? Who is filming? So Pills had a um, kick on his uh, leg last week in training. The national team and uh, he's just got loads now of fluid and swelling left in his, in his shin. And, Helping me get it right. Can you put some on my leg? Good job he's not got the talcum powder. He tips it all out yeah. every time. If that's lying around, the full bottle's out. Can you wrap my leg? Can you make it better? <laughs> Doc, we got a new physio. New physio? New physio. Better than bad. Doc, you watched me. Ah, uh, thank you. It's not bad, is he? I get him to treat me at home all the time. <laughs> I'll hold it, and then you go around. Yeah, you go around. Once it's round once. Oh, I've got oil on. Yeah, that's it. You've done it. Nice. Do you want a job? Now I feel much better. Yeah, I feel better. become City's very own trophy as the Blues continue their pursuit of a staggering fifth successive Carabao Cup with a visit to West Ham United. A place in the quarterfinals is the prize against the side who currently reside just behind City in fourth place in the Premier League table. We found in the, you know, between the lines many, many, many options and we arrived in the final third to do one against one, one against two and try to finish and unfortunately we couldn't do it. Yeah, it's a top side, uh, West Ham physical and defend well and uh, attacked with the channel, second ball, so we knew it, but uh, I think we did a good, really good performance. We're down to a penalty shootout. Mark Noble will take the first penalty for West Ham United and he has scored down the middle. The left footed penalty, of course, which he has put wide of the post. And it is advantage. West Ham, Saeed Ben Rama scores. And the Blues' firm grip on the Carabao Cup is wrestled away from them. It has been an incredible run. So we have done fantastic in, in the last years and even today. So we play really well. We played. A lot of chances, unfortunately, we could not convert, and the penalties, you know, they were better than us. We fought a lot to, you know, to win and win and win this competition for Champions in a row is a fantastic achievement. So today, finish, next season, we'll come back to try to do it again. Champions Manchester City take on Crystal Palace at the Etihad Stadium this afternoon. It was an important game for for the three points, we, we miss it. I'm, I'm the, uh, the reason why also we, we lose this game, and yeah, it's very frustrating. We have struggled at home against Crystal Palace the previous seasons. We'll see how, how they play, but uh, the quality, they always they have a good quality, Crystal Palace, uh, in his place. We get the ball, the first minutes. So we get the rhythm. Bam, bam. The rhythm, guys. It was a play. I remember perfectly. Uh, it's something uh, very strong, I think. Laporte eases forward. It's a bit short, so he's passed to Diaz, and all of a sudden Gallagher's onto it. And now Zahar's in a shooting position, and he scored for Crystal Palace. Well, City were trying to play out from the back. It all went horribly wrong. And La 
Laporte is going to be red carded as the last defender. If I do this fault, maybe I don't know, two meter more first than uh, where I did uh, I did it uh, is maybe nothing. I was very 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 angry, uh, very sad because of that. Zaha could finish it once and for all. And now he's played it to Alise, and Gallagher hits it into the back of the net. And Crystal Palace have the three points. Uh, it's never easy to say that, but after, yeah, I decide to, to apologize to my, to my teammates. They, they deserve it. Uh, they try their uh, best until the end. <laughs> Maybe this game it was me, the next, the next one will be another one, and we have to, to be all together, fight together uh, until the end. Bit of a surprise, isn't it, for Manchester City? They, 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 were, they look to be in such good form. I don't read too much into it, but I think if, 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 if that trend was to continue and they were to struggle in, in midweek against Bruges, and don't forget next week, the real litmus test yeah. of the Manchester Derby. Has it been a, a difficult week for a club that's so used to, to winning, to lose a couple of games? Sorry? Has it been a difficult week? No. Zero, 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 zero. Don't worry, we will score. Do what you have to do. We are not extremely happy when we won 10 in a row, so we are not disappointed or depressed when we lose two. It's part of the game, so. Everyone full gas, eh? Everyone full gas in the beach. Changed a couple of things in the second half, and I think it was much better in possession and hurt them a lot more in, in, in behind with the speed. Foden saw a wonderful angle. Dundu out the cross, and it's a goal. And a tap in for Raheem Sterling. Manchester City needing just one point now to make sure of progressing to the knockout stages. They beat Bruges here by four goals to one. The uh, biggest game of the weekend is tomorrow's Manchester derby. And let's look ahead, shall we, to the big game tomorrow lunchtime, which is live on Sky. Uh, ben Ransom's at the Etihad for us this evening. He'll give us the Manchester City view ahead of the game. How dark is it already? It's four o'clock. Guardiola's tactical shape, particularly for his offensive players, does take players a lot of time to get their heads around because it relies not just on one or two moving parts, does it? You've got five, six or seven at any one time. I'm sorry, when the five will fall from many chances, so I don't know. I don't know. So this setup is the most comfortable one. Phil. You start to go there, go there, Phil. 
Bernardo, go! Yes. Defend the channel here. A little bit too much. Be there. Go there. Then you come. I have doubts, I'll be honest with you. But you are too silly. And I don't know if play with three or four. With the ball, I don't have problem. I don't have to touch with Bernardo. Yeah, yeah, play, yeah. play, play. Left to my line. Right to my line. High and wide. Not a problem. We and right both together. Right? Across the city now, actually, I don't know if you can hear behind me, there are fireworks starting to go off already to celebrate bonfire night. So I think the fans will be treated to a display, as if on cue, of a different kind tomorrow. <laughs> Nicely done, Ben. Thanks very much indeed. How much will you give me on Bernardo's head? How oh, can you miss his head? <laughs> For the 186th time, City face United in a game which resonates with history and tradition. Going into Old Trafford is always a big thing, you know. The whole city is, is shaking right now. Everyone is uh, looking forward to that match. Obviously, blue and red side. So we will make uh, everything. We try. We will try to make everything possible to make the blue side celebrate today. Fundo, Phil, and the two make the position you have to do. With three, with four, the same. Yeah. Good. With the ball. So can do this or can do in this position. With Bruno here, with McTominay, Fred, or maybe here. Yeah, situation is the same. Yeah, guys. Any doubts? If you have doubts, talk in the pitch, you'll come to me later, OK? You know, to feel so dominant and feel on top from, from the first few minutes is, is um, something so difficult to do. And the, the years that I've been here, we've, we've just grown as a team and, uh, and obviously as a club. And uh, mentality-wise, has gone to, a, to another level. And in that game, that, that, that really showed for me. Champions, yes, but that will serve us of nothing if we don't do it again and again. So we start from zero every time. We do it again. It is a match which City are odds on favourites to win. The shift of power in Manchester now firmly resides in the blue half of the city. As this is the last Premier League Saturday before Remembrance Sunday, the players will now pause as we remember those who sacrificed their lives for our freedoms. Van der Sacker has to stroke it forward and it's straight to Roderick and now to Bruyne. Pep had worked them out. He knew who he wanted to press back. They were pushed back so far that wan and Shaw never really got out of their, their, their defensive space. They make men to men. So we swing and three, we swing and three are from, okay? Yeah. And when you come and come, look what happens. Terrific chance, it's not over yet, and now it goes in, and City lead, I think it's an own goal by Eric Bailly. go any further let's just underline City were really really good in this game they were just streets ahead the ball was Manchester City's best friend and and as far as United are concerned the ball was a stranger they had nothing in common with but that second goal had a build-up of 26 passes we had the ball for a minute and 38 seconds in the build-up to that goal Cancelo with the bending ball in, and City have a second! It's turning at the far post by Bernardo Silva! I didn't, at the time, realise that the ball was in, and then I see the Gaia's face. 
It was a bit of a strange one, because even the fans, I think they just started celebrating a few seconds later when I started celebrating, because they didn't realize it was actually a goal. City completely in control of the game, but at half-time, City lead by two goals to nil. I want more passes. These are two of the dreams. They have something special, this team. I don't know the Fergie time, I don't know what it is, but we will not be like the first half. I advise you, OK? That's why we need more passes. We are saving the ball. The expectation will be tough, that they make pressing and pressing and man-to-man, man-to-man. Courage to play. Use Eddie. So in build-up, here and finish here, 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 here. And after we'll find the players inside camp, Bernardo, Kevin, Gundo camp, how Boris to play and finish with a win. Dale, guys. Okay. Yeah. Jesus scoops a lovely ball forward. There's a huge gap to the left. De Bruyne must play it. He does. Vernon! 3 0 now. He's put it wide. These kind of um, games are, are milestones and uh, on the way to, to winning the, the Premier League to, to lift that trophy. These kind of games are always so big. What a performance, thoroughly enjoyed it and now an international break where Manchester City are in a great place. Yeah, it was a very important game because because these these big games against United, Liverpool, Chelsea. You, if you want to be champions, you need to to also beat these teams. Rodrigo, Xavi and Iniesta mixed up. Rodri, you today mixed up Xavi and Iniesta. A mixture of both. Iniesta dribbling, Xavi's passing. They barely touched the ball second half. Sometimes it's a dirt board, isn't it? You know? Start wide like that, Cole. Keep going, boys. I understand it. Do you both think about Xavi or not? We got flat. Ah, we got a dead little girl's out here, boys. Just keep, keep the ball. <laughs> they don't know. Oh, oh no, do you know what? Wow. Oh, in my boots. <laughs> my boots, back there. Oh, it's a shambles. Yeah. Shambles! Shut up, Stone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Has anyone seen me boots See you like? Later, <laughs> See you later, lads. See you. Stone, do you have a water on me tonight, mate? I'm See ya. All right. All right. See you in a bit, Jacqueline. <laughs> The scintillating one, the, the movement, the, the short passing, the long passing, the press, absolutely everything. And seeing it play out tonight against the rival was just excellent. Hello, how are you? Welcome back. How are you? Thank you. Good, thank you. Yeah. I'm good, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Always I'm like concerned because every time when the internationals break, we're all lucky. So we have always problems with the players come back for the national team. Every time we give them fit and we come back not fit. And and can happen here, it can happen in the national team. So but unfortunately we happen quite often there. Uh I don't even know. I understand. Um, obviously finished the game. Uh, I felt fine that in the game. Didn't really feel anything after. Um, and then I got back to my room about two hours later. And when I was in my room, I was thinking, this is all this. Yeah, I didn't really think anything of it. Went to sleep and woke up in the morning. It was much worse. Uh, I obviously got through the training session, finished the training session, and then 
yeah, it was sore, man. I couldn't really even... It was, like, sore to walk and that. When you go from a club where you, you know you're going to be the first name on a team sheet and you're going into what is a, a, a well-oiled machine, you know, and you know that the demands are different, that the, the, you know, what's expected of you different. Jack's obviously taking... I don't think it's unusual for players coming to Pep's way of playing. They take six months, seven months to adjust. You know, when, it, when you saw the, you know, in the summer, Jack and Pep coming together at Man City, you thought it was just going to hit, happen straight away, but it didn't. You know, I, I always remember thinking, oh, if I ever played like in a team like City, I'd have so many goals, so many assists, but it hasn't, at the moment, you know, it hasn't been like that. I know I can still improve in, in certain areas with, with my goal involvements, especially at the moment. Football's not all highs, as that saying, you know, the highs wouldn't be as good, you know, if it weren't for the lows. So, um, yeah, I just hope the second half of the season now, you know, I can just push on and, and get more goals, more assists. And, you know, now I feel like I've settled properly. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that can happen. When it comes to the team, obviously Pep leads that with his experienced coaching staff. And each day of the week we'll go for a different theme. So it might be something as simple as just a general warm-up two days after a game where the players are still stiff and we have to carefully get them ready for the, the work that Pep does with them. On other days, it might be specific power work or, or things like this strength work. What happened? Come here, go, come. Pep's always pushing us. He always wants a good atmosphere. He wants people to enjoy themselves, whether that be staff or players. So we're tasked, myself and Lorenzo work closely on this, to certain days of the week or certain days of the month to, to have some fun as well. And we just try and make some stuff light-hearted. It can't always be serious, serious, serious. They're playing so many games under so much pressure every three days. We need to relax sometimes and, and enjoy ourselves. They usually just say outside of the boot. All right. If there's not one more. Oh, really? There's Michael a name for it. After Quaresma, I'm my best. <laughs> Who does the best Trevella, you or Ruben? It's not a question. Ruben doesn't compare with me. Ruben is years of light of me, of my Trevella. Ruben is years of light. There's no comparison. No comparison. against Everton and in the process they've scored 23 goals and only conceded five. Jao Cancelo and the ball in towards the Oh, what a goal that is! The ball in was absolutely majestic. É um gesto técnico que eu costumo fazer bastante desde miúdo que que faço esse gesto técnico que é a Trivela. Temos um jogador também muito bom em Portugal. Para mim é o melhor a fazer isso, que é o Quaresma. E eu, eu comecei a experimentar a partir do momento que o vi fazer e, e achei, fui melhorando conforme, conforme os anos e achei cada vez mais fácil e agora para mim é, é fácil fazer esse tipo de passos. É sobre apenas conhecer os seus jogadores e saber o que eles podem fazer e tentar antecipar. Ele é um jogador que eu sei que 
he can hit a ball with his outside his foot quite sweetly. And so I see he took the touch and made the run and he, he, he executed it to perfection. Cleared well by Keane on the slide. Rodri hits oh! it! Oh my word! Rodri with a pile driver! Pick that one out of the net! Palmer with a shooting chance and then it goes through and it's 3-0! Bernardo Silva tucks it into the back of the goal. It's City 3, Everton 0 and in fairness the scoreline reflects City's domination. Well done boys, you win super, super! You feel me? There we go, got it. Okay. <laughs> it tracks the ball whenever you hit it at a certain height. And then uh, big through to pass 34 yards. We meet each other when we were studying in Spain. Of course, uh, football was uh, very important for me, but I never take out of my mind not doing both things. So I still doing right now. I remember last year at the end that I had a few exams. I'm not going to say to Pep, no, I'm not going to the final. Sorry, I have an exam. <laughs> But yeah, this level is okay, but depends. Always you have to be smart, but depends on the moment you, you can do both things and prioritize one to another. <laughs> I studied medicine and I want to be a surgeon. Okay. So we have to be careful with her. She, she will go with the, how do you call the? Oh yeah, with the scalpel. The scalpel. Uh, I cut, I just, I was at home, I just cut a little bit my finger and I just start bleeding. I was like, ah, yeah, I need a, something, a tissue, something. Ah. And I was the kind of, uh, I need help. And she was, she was like, <laughs> shaking. I was like, if you do this in the future, what are you going to do? Do you think you, I can put it out of the bag? Out of the bag? Let's try. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm gonna do the camera one. So how much is this? 50, 60 bucks? No, a bit, bit, bit more. Bit more, huh? No pressure at all. I hope you stay in the same position right now and don't fly with the birds. No. <laughs> camera is disconnected. In every game, he's so competitive. Sometimes it's difficult. Because uh, I always say, I, I don't find a, a game to play with her because I always beat, beat her. <laughs> but no she parties. tries. Yeah? No parties. Yes, no parties. Parties, she's so good. But we play, I don't know, how do you call it? Stop and all these this games. Ping pong, pool. Ping pong? No chance to pool. And he, ah. he win. Did you find it, Jamie? At the moment, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We found it, we got it back. We're looking around the golf course like this, where is it, where is it? And it was just there in the mud, right. This, that was so cool. It looked like the ball, eh? Hey. There's the ball. That's so cool. You know, we are, we are ready to, comp to compete for, for, for the biggest titles in the biggest games. So that's why I get to play to win the game. We are standing on the first target. He's qualified. He's gone. Run the back is Walker and Sterling. Players are waiting in their cars. Yeah, Kevin, you good? I'm here. <laughs> I think I can just put it down to an immature mistake. Well done. The right side is incredible space. I can see it. I can see it. It was so cold. So, 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 so cold.